Welcome to AminAcademy.com. This is the continuation of Cambridge AS, Cambridge International AS and A level exam specimen paper 2017. Question number 10. The diagram shows a cuboid with a horizontal base OABC in which AB equal to 6 and OA equal to A centimeter where A is a constant. The height OP of the cuboid is 10 cm and the point T on BR is such that BT equal to 8 centimeter and M is the midpoint of AT. The unit vector I, J and K are parallel to OA, OC and OP respectively. Find the case where A equal to 2, find the unit vector in the direction of PM. Vector PM First find vector AT. Vector AT equal AB plus BT. Which is equal AB is 6J and BT is 8K. Now the vector AM equal half of vector AT because M is the midpoint of AT equal half into 6J plus 8K which is equal 3J plus 4k. Now vector PM vector vector PM equal PQ PQ plus QA plus AM PQ plus QA PQ plus QA plus AM. Now PQ is two A because A is two given to I and QA QA is minus ten K. And AM is uh, 3J plus 4K. By simplifying, 2I plus 3J minus 10K is the top PM. not 10k 10k minus 4k is minus 6k now a unit vector perpendicular to to pm is vector pm over modulus of the vector pm means 2i plus 3j minus 6k over the square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus minus 6 square which is equal 
2i plus 3j minus 6k over square root of 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and minus 6 square is 36. So which is equal to i plus 3j minus 6k over square root of 49 which is further equal 1 over 7 because square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of sorry Two i plus three j minus six k. Second part. For the case where angle ATP is cos inverse two over seven, find the value of a. For the angle ATP, we have to find vector AT. Vector AT we have 6J plus 8K and vector PT Vector PT is here. So PQ plus QR PQ plus QR plus PQ plus QR plus RT. Now PQ is PQ is AI AI plus QR QR is six J and RT RT is minus 2K. Now, the angle, cos of an angle ATP dot product of vector AT and PT 6j plus 8k dot ai plus 6j minus 2k over square root of 6j plus 8k sorry 6 square square root of 6 square plus 8 square into square root of a square plus 6 square plus 2 square gives 6 <coughs> 6 into 6 is 36 and 8 into minus 2 is minus 16 over square root of 36 plus 64 dot into square root of a square plus 36 plus 2 square is 4 which is equal cosinus 2 over 7 that is 2 over 7 here now 36 minus 16 is 20 over 36 plus 64 is 100 square root of 100 is 10 into square root of a square and 36 plus 4 is plus 40 which is equal to 2 over 7 20 and 10 cut as 2 and this 2 and this 2 cut so we can write 1 over 
square root of a square plus 40 equal 1 over 7. Therefore, square root of a square plus 40 equal to 7. Squaring both sides, a square plus 40 equal 7 squared is 49. Therefore, a square equal 49 minus 40, which is equal to 9. Therefore, a is square root of 9, which is equal to 3 centimeters. Question number 11. The diagram shows the part of the curve y equal 1 plus 4x whole power half and the point P equal to 6 comma 5 lying on the curve. The line PQ intersect x axis at Q 8 comma 0. Show that PQ is normal to the curve. First, the equation of the curve equal y equal 1 plus 4x power half. Let us find differentiation of this curve which gives slope of the curve. dy by dx equal half 1 plus 4x half minus 1 is minus half and differentiation of 4x is 4. 4 and 2 cut as 2 then we can write as 2 over 1 plus 4x whole power half is dy by dx. Now at the point P is 6 comma 5 the value of x is 6 put the value of x equal to 6 in dy by dx we get 2 over 1 plus 4 into 6 whole power half which is equal 2 over 4 plus 4 multiplied 6 is 24 24 plus 1 is 25 power half which is equal 2 over 5 therefore gradient or slope of the curve at P of 6 comma 5 is 2 over 5. Now the line PQ the gradient of the line PQ is P of 6 comma 5 comma q of 8 comma 0 the gradient of pq equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is equal 0 minus 5 over 8 minus 6 minus 5 over 2. Now the product of gradient product of gradients of PQ and And the curve under the curve equal five over two multiplied two over five, which gives minus one. If any two lines gradients are multiplied, if you minus 1 then we can say both lines are perpendicular then we can say the line PQ is normal to the curve 
at point P at the point P. Now second part of the question find showing all necessary working the exact volume of revolution obtained when the shaded region is rotated through 360 degrees about x axis. Now the curve is rotated with x axis up to this point is integral 0 to x value 6 bracket 1 plus 4x 4x dx by since the volume of revolution about x axis is v equal pi integral y square dx. Now y is 1 plus 4x whole power half. So y squared is 1 plus 4x and dx. Now integrating one integration is x, 4x integration is 4x squared over 2 put the limit 0 to 6 gives put the value of x is 6 x is 6 and 4 and 2 cut as 2 then 2 into 6 square which is the 0 limit will not affect the values so pi bracket 6 plus 6 square is 36 36 plus 2 is 72 72 plus equal now which is equal 6 plus 72 is 78 pi now the integral of the the revolution of this triangle pmq with respect to x axis is become a cone volume of cone here second volume equal to 1 by 3 pi here radius is radius is 5 and radius that is 5 square into h H is from H is MQ, which is six eight minus six is two into two, which is equal one by three pi r squared H that is five squared is twenty five into two, which is equal fifty pi by three. The sum of both volumes is our required volume. That is, total volume is 78 pi plus 50 pi by 3, which is equal to 284 pi by 3. 284 pi by 3.